What's good everybody, it's your boy back with another reaction video. I'll be reacting to three true baby monitor horror stories. This is from uh, Mr. Nightmare Channel and I'll put a link in the description so you can watch his the, the, the original video, his channel, show him some love. He's a really good narrator, so he has really good uh, videos, narration video. But, uh, I saw this and I was like, it's funny because this is recommended. I've had this on my computer for, I think, a few days, maybe a, month, maybe a week. Uh, I don't remember when it came out. I just watched a Nightmare Files video and I think that came out a couple of days ago. I think this has been out longer than that. Normally, I don't react to stuff that's been out, like some of these videos on YouTube. If they, I usually wait a week, you know, before I react to them. I don't usually like taking a video and then react to them hours after they posted them. But, um, or even like a day or two. And then I try to wait like a week or something like that. Uh, I might react to it and then edit it and then leave it on my computer and then post it later on. I even post stuff like a month later, mainly because I forgot about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was I saw this and my brother, not me, my brother, just had a baby uh, about a week ago, a little bit over, no, it was a little bit over a week, a couple weeks ago. Um, just had an, another baby girl, and I remember, and I saw this, and I was like, huh, that just made me think, cause I don't think he uses a baby mom or anything like that, but it just made me think like that would be. Like, I don't have any kids, but that would be one of the scariest things to be listening to a baby monitor. And all of a sudden you hear someone and it's not your baby. Or you hear your baby and you hear something else. Especially something that you can't explain. I'd rather hear something, to me, I'd rather hear something that, that doesn't sound natural than to hear something that does. Like... I know it sounds weird, like, I'd rather hear, like, I don't know, maybe, like, groveling, and not growling, and like that, because, like, there's a dog in there, like, <laughs> but, like, I'd rather hear, like, almost like a person moving in the room or talking than something that I can't, you know, tell what it is, you know, because for some, that, that, that feeling of the unknown in there and I don't know what it is is um, better to me than than, than like uh, knowing as a person in there you know because then I feel like someone broke into my house something like that but uh, anyway I'm getting all like trying to keep my thoughts like wait what am I saying <laughs> but yeah that's how people talk when you don't have kids and they're trying to relate to somebody who does. I just, I normally don't. That's, those are all your problems, not mine. Anyway, uh, let's get into this. Alright, he. And that'd be the even worse if I had a, like a camera. And I saw something, oh man. They have that baby at Changelands? I was going like that. What you're about to hear is the scariest thing I'd ever experienced. My sister and her husband were going away to Hawaii for a week. So since I'm the second oldest, she asked me to watch my two-year-old nephew, Sean, for the duration. Two was a tricky oh, age for me week. because Sean was still in diapers at the time. And changing diapers was the last thing I'd ever want to be doing. <laughs> Still, I'll you. Family is family, and I had to return a favor to them anyway. I was sleeping in the guest bedroom upstairs for the duration, and by the third day, I had everything down to a rhythm. Wake up, feed him, do my work in the living room while supervising him as he played, feeding him again, then putting him to bed. My sister has a high-tech baby monitor that connects to a touchscreen tablet. It records sound and video from above Sean's crib and feeds it to the tablet. I would keep that by my side while he slept, no matter where I was. The living room, the bedroom, anywhere. 
Midday most of the time, he'd get sleepy, and I'd bring him to his crib to take a nap. By like the fourth day, Sean was taking a nap, so I was in the backyard sitting at my sister's outdoor bar in my laptop. I had the baby monitor. She worked from bar, home because they took off to for a week, and it's like, at yeah, you gotta watch my kid. Check the tablet, and I saw him standing in his crib. She must work from home or something like that. Out. I went up to his room and grabbed him to bring him outside in the yard with me, where he drove around in his little electric toy car. For basically the rest of the day, I just watched Sean play with his toys while I would either be doing work on my laptop or just watching something on TV. Shortly after dinner time, I changed him one last time and put him into his crib. An hour or so passed, and there really wasn't much else for me to do. I wasn't interested in anything playing on TV, so I went upstairs to the guest bedroom to put an end to the night. Laying in bed in the dark, the room suddenly lit up from the tablet on the bedside table. Oh boy. I heard Sean laughing again. The tablet would light up if any significant amount of motion or sound was detected. I was comfortable in my position. I didn't really want to move. But when the screen suddenly went dark, yet I could still hear Sean's laughs, I got confused. I picked up the tablet, and all I saw was black. Yet, in a way, it seemed as though the screen was still on. I heard Sean say the word yeah as he continued laughing. Something wasn't right. I set the tablet down and began walking Somebody Sean covered the camera? calling his name as I was on my way. I got to his room and he was standing in his crib. I asked him why he was awake and who he was talking to. He then tried reaching for something atop the crib, but his short arms couldn't reach it. It seemed he was going for the camera for the baby monitor. So I pointed at it and said, camera? And he replied, It's yeah. covered or some shit. I picked him up to give him a little lift to see what he was trying to do with the camera. And as I lifted him, he used his little thumb to cover the camera lens. My heart sank as I put the pieces together. The reason the tablet went dark was because it was being covered by someone. someone. And I knew it wasn't Sean based on the fact that he couldn't reach it. Sean, is someone in here? I asked him. Why would you say that? Just he leave the room. And pointed to the closet. I picked him up and ran outside to the neighbor's house, pounding on the door, screaming for help. An elderly woman answered. That kind of sh shivers down my spine. She was already clearly close with Sean, and because of that, she seemed a lot more comforting. Police showed up and said when they checked the upstairs closet, it was open, but no one was inside. Somebody ran. The fact that it was open alone says everything. Yeah. Someone was in Sean's closet that night. They must have made an escape when I took Sean and ran. The officers told me to stay at someone else's place for the night, and the elderly woman next door allowed us to sleep there. The next few nights after that, I watched Sean at my apartment. My sister and her husband cut the trip short, of course, after hearing the news. That, that shit, I don't know if that sound cue sends shivers down my spine or the fact that he looked at the a closet. Ten -year -old diabetic who lived on the second Cause floor. I would have just left. My parents lived on the first floor. That night, my dad was watching a scary movie about aliens. The aliens took over the world. Oh, uh, Independence Day? Uh, I was what, invasion of the body room that I shared with my sister that night. So instead, I slept on the first story floor with my parents. At that time, my parents were using a baby monitor to make sure I didn't need any help in the middle of the night to take care of my diabetes. Is TV on the floor? Late that night, as my parents and I fell asleep, I heard my mother's voice over the baby monitor. She said, Amanda, honey, come give me a kiss. I'm going to work. In a confused daze, I looked outside to see it was pitch black. That's weird, I blame myself. Is it too late for my mom to be going to work? I rub the sleep out of my eyes as I make my way upstairs. The door to my sister's room cracks open. And my mom isn't in there. My sister is sound asleep on her bed, and the curtain just drifts open. I look around for my mom, but still can't find her. I make my way fast down the stairs and back into my parents' room, where my mom sat up and went, What are you doing up? I said, Didn't you just ask me to come upstairs to give you a kiss goodbye? She looks at me funny. No, why would I say that, she said. I looked at the baby monitor and said, you didn't hear that? She looked at me funny 
So let's go back to sleep. <laughs> I lay on the floor shaking, thinking about what just happened. Okay, that must have been a type of like supernatural thing or something. In my teens and early 20s, I would babysit as my side hustle. I was always really good with toddlers and babies, and usually the parents of the really young ones would pay more. There was this well, yeah, you gotta do more. Lucas and Adriana. Lucas was two, and Especially Adriana Especially you have to change diapers. No, Adriana doesn't have much to do with this story, I'll just say that right now. Lucas didn't really speak much, though I was told he had only just turned two a few weeks ago at the time. After a long and stressful day of watching the kids, they went to sleep. I would be spending the night at this couple's house watching their kids while they were out in some beach town with friends or something. When the kids finally went to sleep, I had some peace and quiet and time to unwind, as watching the two of them was a lot. I lay in the living room watching a movie. The couple actually still had a baby monitor for Lucas's room, and they asked me to keep that in earshot when he went to sleep. I left it on the coffee table in the living room. Eventually, I ended up on a FaceTime call with my friend, and that ate away so much time that by the end of it, it was past 12. I went to sleep after that. Actually, I fell asleep pretty easily. The next thing I remember is the dream. Freaky, disturbing, messed up dream. Everyone knows dreams can be weird and grainy, so I can't describe verbatim what happened in this dream. But the best I can remember, I somehow had lost the baby monitor and Lucas was missing. After searching through this weird dream version of the couple's house, I found the baby monitor under the bed and on the screen was Lucas's dead body. And upon seeing that, a deep voice kept saying, this was your fault. I must have heard it like three times before I suddenly woke up. After realizing it was just a dream, I remembered the baby monitor. I left it on the coffee table downstairs. But before going down to get it, I figured I'd check Lucas's room first since it was closer anyway. And I saw he was fast asleep. After that, I went downstairs to get the device and went back up to the room I was staying in. I went back to sleep, but once again, I woke up some time later. But this time, I woke up to the little monitor device beeping and the red light flashing. Shit. I picked it up, and on the screen was Lucas standing up looking directly into the camera. Not smiling or laughing, just looking dead set into the camera, his eyes glowing in the night vision. The way he was looking freaked me out. It yeah, it was freaking me out. So I rushed over to his room. But when I got to his room, he was fast asleep, laying on his back. I said his name a few times and lightly shook him, but he didn't wake up. I looked around the room, scared, feeling like there was another presence in there with us. I checked the closet kind of and looked under the crib. Supernatural no bullshit. One. I went back to the other bedroom and looked at the monitor again showed Lucas laying flat in his crib. I turned it off for the night, and I didn't sleep as easily after that. To this day, I still don't understand that dream I had, or if there was some kind of warning. I don't know what exactly I was seeing on that baby monitor screen. I just don't know what to believe was actually real. I see Mr. Nightmares on that jump scares to his video. Yeah, man, uh, Nightmare Files. Oh, fuck you. Right. Like I would say, the... The home invasion one was the scariest to me. Because like I said, when... Like, these other ones were like, when there's all this kind of like... Supernatural type shit. Like, that's not really that scary to me is more of the maybe because I don't really believe in that type of stuff so I'm more afraid of an actual person coming into my house and, and fucking with me you know like they're trying to rob me or they just coming here to kill me or, or what, my, what have you you know that is more terrifying to me. 
but uh, yeah, that shit, that is when people fuck with babies. That that's crazy. And then, what was that person doing in that room where they put their the the I'm guessing they they put their thumb over the camera. Like, what were they doing? Were they playing a take the baby? They just want to play with the baby. Like, like I don't, I don't know. Maybe they were on rob, but they want to, but they came in through the window and, and they were having to be in the baby's room. So they just uh, keep the baby from like crying or screaming. But then the baby starts laughing real loud. So that was this. That was that. That's whew, that, that. That just shouldn't. That said, shivers down my spine, and my back hurt. That's why I'm sitting in this chair rather than sitting on my bed because I fell on the steps a few days ago. I hurt my back, and that shiver. Like I didn't really move, but it like I don't know like my spine moved. <laughs> like my body moved, like my spine moved in, inside my body, and I felt that. Like a little uh, pain in my lower back. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed my reaction, everyone. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Hit that bell. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. Comment down below. Share this video. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.